overdubbed Pizza Hut Pagoda in backlash over its design, Apple's sleek glass and metal constructed stores are oft admired around the world. It's not quite the case in Melbourne, Australia, where a proposed global flagship store in the city's Federation Square has been the subject of controversy since it was announced in December. See also, here's how you'll be able to see if your iPhone's being slowed down The Victorian state government has been criticized for giving up a part of the city's most culturally significant spaces with no public consultation. Apple said the new store will increase the public space within Federation Square through thoughtful planning and landscaping, but the two-story concept is continuing to face opposition. According to ABC News, Melbourne City Council has received 800 submissions rejecting the store's design, and councillors want the site's blueprint overhauled. Greens Party Councillor Rowan Leppard submitted a motion at a council meeting on Wednesday welcoming an Apple store in Melbourne but asked the state's government and Apple to commit to a redesign that avoids a pavilion or temple-like design that is out of context in Federation Square. Another councillor, Nicholas Rees, told the news outlet he supported an Apple store opening in the square, and could be a good thing if the design was done properly. As it stands, Rees hasn't found many fans of the glasswalled pavilion. It reminds me of a Pizza Hut pagoda and I just think it's like something that's rolled off an Apple store production line, Reese told the ABC. The Victorian Greens party will seek to block the development from going ahead in Federation Square, to be voted in the state's parliament next week. We have just moved a motion to revoke the planning approval for the Apple megastore at Fed Square. The Labour Gopt must now go back to drawing board and consult the community on alternate location for Apple or Parliament can block their bad plan in two weeks' time. Hash Springst, Ellen Sandell, at Ellensdell, February 6, 2018 The Greens will today join with the community and Melbourne City Council in calling for the Labour government to find an alternative location for an Apple store in the CBD, and we will move to revoke Labour's poor decision, Greens MP Ellen Sandell said in a statement via email. Our public space should not be for sale.